Hi guys, welcome to Plaquebox channel. I'm Shaina and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the CCNA. If you just found this video and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we posted a new video here. For the update of my review, I am now in the middle of the section 12 which is the life of a pocket. I've done reviewing the Cisco devices, function, physical layer, and data link layer. If you're already on the section 12, which is about the life of a pocket, this is a very interesting topic here. You can also check the practicalnetworking.net to give you a review of this topic. This site was suggested to us by our instructor, Neil Anderson. It was says on the email that he has a buddy named Ed Harmush at Practical Networking and they just released a series of videos. Series of video walking us through how IP connectivity works. This site is very useful especially if we are already on the life of a pocket section 12 on our course. You can also check that guys. And also I want to share with you the alpaprep.net so I haven't started anything yet on that website but this website is very useful if you wanna assess yourself if you are ready to take the ccna exam so what's inside this website app that alpaprep.net it has four tabs here so the first one is assistant tab if you need if you need study assistant so you can check the first tab about the topics you can see the topics here and it's also the same topic on our course but the different with alpha prep is it has a example exam where you can uh, take this exam to assess yourself if you are ready to take the CCNA this exam is very useful if you want to assess yourself if you are ready to take the CCNA exam to know if you are already confident enough to take the battle honestly i tried to start the exam but i stopped because the questions are very strange so i'm not yet that con i think i'm not yet that confident to take the season a i'm still on the section 12 of our course i still need to watch more topic from the course the first time i opened the exam the questions are very strange to me so i stopped it <laughs> But yeah, you can check and you can take advantage of this alphaprep.net. It also shows you a mastery scores on the different topics. You can see here what are the topics you're good with and what are not. So let's take advantage of this. It's good to know that there are so many IT professionals who want to help us newbies in this industry. So let's take advantage of their kindness and on the videos of the alphaprep.net you can also see the same videos that we are watching on our course let's take advantage of this what happened last time i mentioned i'm done reading the cisco device function and i was wondering how it looks like on the google data center probably some of you already watched some videos showing how the google data center looks like i also watched it before but let's see it again because i want to visualize how the network devices are being arranged especially on the bigger data center room like google why all of the sudden i suddenly think about how the google data center looks like because last january 13 I just read an article from the Microsoft News. Microsoft reveals its Washington Cloud Data Center at CES. And I got inspired by that video. Imagine if we pass the CCNA, we can have an opportunity to work on those big data center. And I got curious about Google Data Center. Actually, there's a lot of video here on YouTube showing the Google Data Center. But I really like this 360 tour version why i was thinking about google data center all of a sudden actually it just all started from the cisco devices that i read from the course i just got curious about the network devices inside the google data center i worked before in the different companies and i already seen some of them how it looks like and how it is arranged inside a big heavy rack 
and data center room or servers are the very coolest room inside the company it's very cool inside not because all the switches are inside the server room but because you know the temperature is really low there so i'm very excited and let's take a tour on the google data center so we are now on the google data center 362 video so if you want to navigate it by yourself you can go to google cloud platform youtube channel here's where i found this video you can navigate it you can turn it to the direction where you want to turn it you see here it's very secured from the outside it's really very isolated from the rest of the world let me know in the comment section what you think about the google data center so let's go let's enter we are now inside the lobby the lobby is very cool and very friendly well this is not what uh, we are looking for uh, let's fast forward so this is not what we want to see but uh, let's take a uh, let's appreciate the lobby guys so let's let's fast forward to the uh, main data center okay we are now on the server room of the google data center and you see how many switches are here they are very a lot more than i think more than hundred thousand and you see how it was arranged on the racks but i think google has their own dedicated manufacturer of their network devices i don't know if it is from cisco but this is how it looks like inside the google data center they have a lot of servers in a single cluster in a single building are you imagining guys do you see yourself that you will work here someday there's no problem if you're dreaming big imagine if you pass the season a if you have credentials like season a you can have an opportunity to work in this environment well let's see what's the other side so we are now on the other side of the server room you see there are so many cables here arrange there's so many cables here arranged in a very organized manner how many engineers are really maintaining this kind of arrangement virginia, one of our network so engineers. let's virginia. meet virginia one of their network engineer virginia she is a senior Can network engineer it's good to know that there are also female network engineers who are working who can enter the server room jupiter our current data center network jupiter. so i don't know much about jupiter if you have some insight about their devices guys if you have some insight about their devices you can share it with me on the comment section i want to learn more about the google data center i want to get inspired so let's inspire one another a single building can support 75,000 machines so a single building can support 75 thousand machine imagine how many devices are here let's fast forward guys and let's take a look on the other side of this it's kind of amazing you know i'm really amazed how it looks like inside a big data center okay we are now on the other side of the server room and i told you that this is the very coolest part in this building i think this is now the uh, shredder room so let's stop here it's really amazing here inside the google data center server room have you seen yourself or imagining yourself working inside this very big data center i just want to get some inspiration from one of the big companies here are you inspired now because i am very inspired now after we pass the ccna we have now the confidence that we can enter those legendary companies and on the succeeding chapter of my review um it's more on the cisco troubleshooting methodology cisco routers and switch basic and i am now on a 21 percent progress of my review if you realize something from this video you can share it to me to the comment section so you can also inspire other students if you found this video helpful and inspiring just click that like button give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel now and you can follow me on my linkedin account so here's my linkedin account and please also follow us on our social media accounts and by the way if you don't have yet the copy of the 
free Cisco Lab Guide exercises. You can check the description below and you can download the Cisco Lab Guide exercises for free. It is for free, guys. You don't need to pay anything to download the Cisco Lab Guide exercises by Flakbax. Check the description below to download that. And anything that I can say is see you on my next video.